What's going on guys? How's it going? Welcome back to another Spin and Go episode. Today we're starting at the $100 level at the top of the ladder. We have one shot. If we lose, we have to move down. If we win, we stay until we lose. That's going to be the plan. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and watching this video. If you want to play Spin and Goes with me on PokerStars, check out the link down in the description below. As always mentioned before we get started, this is a Let's Play series. The goal is to have fun here. Some of you may have way more experience than me. Some of you are brand new to the game. I'm just trying to have fun here, so take it as you will. Okay. $100 spinner. We're going to register. Potentially win up to $1 million. <laughs> it's exciting, man. All right. It's Sunday night. Just had a successful day on the grind. Let's see if we can get it done here. All right. We're going to play for a min 200 against Czech Pepe from the Czech Republic. That would make sense. And uh, Zebu. All right, we're gonna start with the deuce three offsuit, a raise to 40. Right off the bat, GG. Where's Zebu from again? Austria, okay. I want my cards back. I would've flopped an open ender. I would've flopped it, man. I want them back. Please, let me have them. All right, check Pepe, bet 70 chips here. Zebu, a Zebu. It's gonna call. <laughs> I don't know why I'm pronouncing names so weird. I'm just in a weird, loopy mood after the Sunday grind, you guys. Uh, if you're seeing this spin and go, you've probably seen the highlights, but obviously we had a pretty good day yesterday. Today. Yesterday for you guys, so. I'm just, uh, chilling out a little bit. Overbet shove on this river, which completes the flush. And Zubu's gonna take it down next hand. That was a long hand, though. Uh, Jack-3 suited against Check Pepe. I'm definitely okay to play it. I'm actually okay to raise it. I have aces, Pepe. I have aces, my friend, don't you know? We're gonna bet 50 chips, sounds good. With our backdoor flush draw, three to a straight. Bluffs, basically we're bluffing. We're definitely bluffing. It works. Okay, up to 533, jack six off on the button. We fold. Not suited, two people to get through. I don't like it. So we see a limp pot here, a call for 10 in the small blind and a check from Zebu in the big. King 10-9 with two clubs. Deuce of spades on the turn. Check. That's a very small size, given how many draws are out there, but it works out. It works, and we pick up the Queen-10 suited, very strong hand, happy to play against Zebu. You could raise it to four times the big blind here, I'd call. You shove? I mean, fine, we'll fold. Two and a half? Not a problem. We call. See a flop, which is 863, two spades. This is a good flop for our range and not great for Zebu. Gonna check back and bet a lot of turns, I think. They check on the turn. Now let's bet on the bigger side, because they've made their range very apparent as to what it is, right? Um, they shouldn't have an 8 or 6 here, hardly ever. Whereas we can definitely have those hands, we're also going to have a lot of draws. So we're going to bet fairly large, and we see a 5 of diamonds on the river. I am going to overbet shove, because a lot of our draws missed here. We obviously just have queen high. We're going to be checking down with our ace highs. You know, some of our king highs are going to play it this way. So what hands are we going to bluff? I mean, this is a good one to do it with. So we're going to overbet shove 403 into 260 and hope to get that A side off fold. Zebu. Fold. Fold it, Zebarino. Hey, it works. The overbet has worked. The overbet bluff. It feels damn good, man. It feels so good. 3-4 uh, offsuit. Nope. Check Pepe can take that one. King Queen, though. Limperuno. Limperuno. Apparently, if check shoves, we're obviously going to call with our king queen a very strong hand here. Check Pepe is going to limp it in, and we see an ace queen four flop. So I'm pretty sure that check Pepe doesn't have an ace. Most of the time, they're going to shove their aces. Zebo could maybe have an ace, but it's kind of unlikely here. The good thing is that there's hardly any bad cards for us. You know, like a jack and a ten or like whatever. The rest are fine. <laughs> you know, we don't think they have very many aces, so let's try and let them bluff. Checks to us again, and we have a six of hearts in the turn. I'm going to check once more. Make two pair on the river. That's cool. All right, let's check Pepe. How aggressive do you feel? You bet 30. I'm going to raise the river. I'm going to raise for 30 chips because I think it's really hard for them to have jack 10 and decide to bet 30. I think it's most likely they just have king X type hands. So I'm going to raise it up to 135, which I think I'd do with a bluff as well. They fold. Okay, we pick it up. 738. We have about half the chips to play. 
and the 6-3 offsuit. But damn, it's been such a good run at the top levels right now, you guys. The $100 are going so well for us and the 60s, so I'm super happy. Four do suited, okay. Let's limp it in for 15 chips, try and see a flop, hopefully. Nope, Pep is not having any of that. They shove, we're out. My voice is like super frail tonight, you guys. Like it's it's raspy and I feel like I need to breathe in a lot to say anything. <laughs> Which is not great and I'm sorry for it, but there's nothing I can do. Shove all in, we're gonna fold the 10-9. Not gonna be a play. Queen five offsuit, limps. Limperino, no, we fold. Jack Pepe is the short one here. Me and Zubu are pretty close to tied. We're gonna have to fold the Jack Deuce though. So many folds, just folding all of our hands. Shoving a call, 7-8 against King-10, pretty standard on both fronts. That's an 8 in the flop, that's a great turn for them, and check Pepe is gonna double up here. Two 530 chips, Zebu, who I think's been playing pretty well, getting the short end of the stick, now down to 317. Lands are 20 and 40, it looks like this spinner's gonna go the distance. We're gonna call the min raise with the 8-6 suited, we're gonna flop a backdoor flush draw and an open ender. I like it. Check raise incoming, we should be able to get everything that isn't a spade draw or an ace to fold. I mean, 10 is gonna continue as well. It goes check, check, which is very interesting. I'm gonna bluff on the turn. This is probably gonna be a one and done situation. I'm probably not gonna continue through on the river. And they do call, and I think they're gonna win. Pepe is going to win it here. So we're now uh, a little bit of a shorty. Limp call, a shove is a good idea. Pepster, all right, we'll just shove over this raise. It's fine with us. Pepperino, no, against ace queen, that's a king though. Holds, hold, we run so good, hold. Let's go, full house hype. We are up to 934 in a commanding spot in this spinner. We're gonna fold both of them sitting around six big blinds and seven and a half, which is okay. King 10 against deuces. And deuces hold. Sick hold, Zebo. In one minute, the blinds are going up to 30 and 60. We'll leave them with 10 big blinds. We see a limp. We're going to check with the six deuce. Start with a check on this ace king six. Not going to be folding yet. I'm going to call 40 to win 120. My voice is almost gone. It's almost completely gone. We're going to keep going now. Queen, obviously, a terrible turn. We're going to fold. We will fold on the queen. And let's start the limps with the five nine offsuit. Not a great hand. I'm fine limping it. I'd like to play in position for sure. They check. We see queen nine three. I'm going to check back. Turn two pair. It's a glorious. Glorious turn, what an amazing turn. They bet 80 into this pot. I'm gonna call. We have a full house, Zebu. All the draws missed. All right, we're gonna shove the riv. Please call us. They fold, okay. We're up to 1,038 though. Blinds are up to 30 in 60, so they're sitting on around seven and a half big blinds. They limp. I shove my pair of threes pretty easily. They fold, all right, next hand, we're gonna limp with the queen five. Check, nice. Uh, king six deuce, check back. Three in the turn is glorious. Let's semi bluff. Now nah, let's just check with our queen high, actually. That's fine. And uh, we pick up a pair on the river. We're gonna call a bet. Zibby baby, we call. Good seven, 10, good stuff. A six, this could be the end of the spin and go. Holds, hold it against the 10, nine. We got a pretty much flip here. Can we hold the baby? Let's go, you guys. We take it down. First spin and go is going our way, which means we get another one at the $100 level. Let's do this thing. All right, so we won 200 bucks. Let's win a million. My voice is gone. Oh my God. Please don't hate me, YouTube, please. I'm doing my best here, okay? Did lots of yelling today. Hey, another one against Peps, all right. Pep Star. we're gonna play for $400. We got a 4x at the $100 level. Let's go. All right, Alec Kiop is from Belgium. We're going to go Alec. And uh, Pepe is obviously from the Czech Republic. Three deuce, no good. We fold. Uh, going to raise it up to 40 chips here. Pepperino is going to call in the small blind and a fold in the big blind. Okay. 9, 4, 5. I like betting here because our hand is not great right now. But think about all the good turns. Eight, straight draw. Ten, top pair. Jack, open into straight draw. Queen, top pair. King, gut shot. Ace, scare card. Heart, flush draw. Dreams are made. Do you understand me? You feel me? Good things can happen. 
Uh, we see an ace in the turn. Yes, we're going to keep betting on this card, which doesn't improve our equity, but I think it's one of the only scare cards where we don't really improve that I like betting. Pepstar, throw him in the muck. You don't want to do this, my friend. I have an ace nine. Damn it, they call. I give up. Ace four, okay. Never getting that to fold. I mean, that's a, that's a two pair on the turn. Alec Keop raises. Our hand is absolute garbage. We have ace nine, limp on the button, willing to call a shove. Pepstar is gonna limp it in as well. Alec is gonna check. Okay, we see a king jack nine, which is very interesting. We have the backdoor flush draw, but we do have third pair. Pretty bad turn. Not the best turn in the world. We beat nothing-ish. Check. Queen of Spades in the river. We still beat me nothing. Uh, but we might win when everyone checks. Nope, they both have jacks. That's fine. All right. Eight of hearts, six of diamonds. We get to call min raises. That's about it. Give us a walk. I love that. That is so fun. Six, seven suited. I'm going to limp it in for ten more chips. Lines are going up in a minute here to 15 and 30. We're going to have to fold with the shove, though. On to the next hand. King pot suited. We're going to limp as well. Pepstar limps. Alec. Let's see a flop, dude. Don't do it. Don't. Do it! No! Alec has put themselves in a pretty decent position to win the spot. And we get a call. Okay, queen, five, six, rainbow. What do we have? King five? I'd be all in. <laughs> and Alec is going to continue their aggression against Peps. Pep star is just going to fold. Alec takes one down. Blinds are going up to 15 and 30. Obviously not in a great spot in the spin and go. But we still have outs. We have opportunities. Going to check. Jack 10 7, we flop bottom pair. Awkward when they bet pot. I'm gonna fold. But the bottom pair is basically the same as ace high. It's really hard to continue. 4 5, okay. We'll limp as well. Don't do it, Peppy. Pepe. Pep star. Peppers. Dang it. Peppy. Uh, limp with the 5 10 suited. Pep star gives us a free one. It feels damn good, man. We're gonna bet here. 28 chips. Nope, can't. Can bet 30. That's good enough. The min bet works out for us. Ooh, I want to shove, but I'm not going to. I'm going to limp because I haven't shoved yet. It's going to be obvious what types of hands we have. All right, Pepstar. Nice hand, Pepstar. Can I just whisper through the rest of the spinner? Maybe. Min raise, we call. We call. We flop a 10. We are all in. All you can eat, Pepstar. All right, spin and go number three. We won one, we lost one, but unfortunately we have to move down to the 60s because last episode we only had one in the bank. So $60 spinner, here we come for the last spinner of the day. Let's win up to 600,000 maybe. A little 600K prize pool, I believe. And we're playing for, oh my God, a 360. Let's go, a 6X. This is our moment, Nikki D from Canada. Enter and win from the UK. This is it. Actually, gonna limp with the 6 7 suit. It's just such a good hand to limp call. A shove to 3x is fine. A raise to 3x. We see this flop. We bet against Nikki D. Nikki D, Nikki D. What you feeling? You bet. We bet you call. A 9 on the turn for sure. You just have so much garbage here. They have so much baloney. They have almost nothing. If they have an ace, they're probably going to bet twice. It's a tragedy if they bet the turn and they check back the river. But we need to let them bluff because, like, what? I mean, they just check pre. What can they really have? What can they have? Nothing. Come on, Nikki. Follow through like I know you can. Bet of 80. I will shove to try and get money from the ace of the world. It's more likely than them having a six. They have queen six. What a disaster. I feel like a bit of an idiot because I didn't give you guys the entertainment that was due on a 6x spinning up, but I did my best. And hopefully that's enough. If you liked the video, let me know down in the comments below. If you think my voice is super gnarly and raspy, subscribe to the channel. If you don't think it's raspy, also subscribe to the channel. If you were born on Earth, subscribe to the channel. Thank you. If you want to play Spinning Goes with me on PokerStars, check out the link down in the description. I'm going to be back with more Spinning Goes tomorrow. 
But until then, we'll see you guys next time.